today we are going to be making a Mario Sunshine inspired palm top figure. Why am I doing this? Hi you guys, Rachel from Trino Nights and today we're going to be making a Mario Sunshine inspired palm top figure. I was inspired by the very beginning scene when you first get flood and fight the little piranha plant thingy. Um, I've never actually played the entire game so I went with what I knew which was the beginning. This video is a collaboration with Andrew's Clay Creations and more. He made the cute little penguin from Mario 64, so go check it out whenever you're done here. And with that said, let's go Clay. All right, so I'm going to be using white cost clay and some granite Primo. I'm using cost clay just because I didn't have enough white of any other color uh, or brand in uh, my supply. So cost clay, ugh, cost clay works just fine. It bakes the same temperature as Primo. So I mix some white granite for the base and then for like little pebbles, we're going to be using like a darker color. And to cut it out, I want some of it to be elevated. So I'm using two different circle cutters to kind of make uh, a donut. I'm going to roll it out again to do just a flat base and even it out because the prana plant's kind of like in like this little dip in, on the ground. So I wanted to make sure to really replicate that. And smoothing everything together to make sure everything's blended. And then a thin snake of clay all the way around just to make it look like one solid piece and to make it just look nice and uniform and blend it in and clean it up nice. Everything is blended, so now I'm just going to take the darker granite clay that I mixed together and I'm going to put little pebbles all the way around and this process took me about an hour to do the entire thing and I won't bore you with all of it, so let's just skip ahead. There we go, all done. I did leave the center open because that's where the primary or the majority of the paint is going to be around the piranha plant, so I figured I wasn't going to spend another 20 minutes doing that. <laughs> Okay, so for the paint, we are using some orange, pink, and yellow. I'm just gonna roll out three snakes of clay, getting them pretty even, and then twisting them together to just get a marbly, kind of messy effect. Then I'm gonna take a thin snake of clay from that and flatten it out and put it all around the base, except for the very center where Mario is because he cleaned up that little bit of paint. And so I'm just cleaning it out and then taking my sil silicone tool and kind of smudging everything down so it looks like the paint is kind of drippy and not just a snake of clay laying flat <laughs> on the base. <laughs> and another kind of droopy circle uh, with a hole in the middle, that's where the prana plant is going to sit. And then a couple extra little drops placed around to be extra splatters of paint. And we definitely need a wire in here to support because there will be a large piranha plant head on top. I wanna to make sure that everything's nice and secure. And for the head, I rolled out a ball of clay and then kind of squeezed it a little to make kind of like a hockey puck almost shape and then cut out the part for the mouth and placed it on. And then we are, uh, I am uh, using some thin snakes of clay as like little paint droplets that are going to be dripping off. Okay, I'm really happy with it. So now we're gonna move on to the main star of the show and that is Mario himself. He's gonna be super duper tiny. I've never made a chibi this small, like with a face and everything. I made one that was really small, a Breath of the Wild palm top. I'll put a picture right here, but he didn't have a face. So it was kind of easy to, to do that. This is a full body, not flat chibi. And I cut out his little legs and just kind of having to stretch them back out because they got squished because my blue clay was a little bit soft. And a little tiny head. He's, uh, he's balding Mario. <laughs> That's why he always wears a hat. And just little black eyes, a black mustache, then a round ball for the nose. And for his hat, I decided against trying to put a super tiny M because that was just too much. I don't even know why I considered it. <laughs> Some white gloves and voila! He has been baked and he fell. 
Again. <laughs> I dropped him a lot. But now we're gonna work on Flood, so I'm using some translucent clay and some yellow and some silver. Of Mario just laying there so I can get Flood to be about the right size. I'm just following my reference picture that I'm using to kind of see how Flood looks. Obviously, he's super duper tiny, so we're not going for realistic, but I want to get the shape and the colors and everything right. For his nose, I made a little cone out of clay and then use my ball tool to kind of hollow out the middle. That's where our water is going to be coming out of. And then some bacon bond clay to kind of hold flood onto Mario and the little handlebars. And I did put a wire inside of the cone for flood uh, because I was going to use translucent clay for the water because that's usually my go-to, but I decided I wanted to try out this clear liquid clay. It's kind of been staring at me from my desk for a while and I really wanted to try it out. I thought, I was hoping it would look cool for this project. So I'm trying to make a kind of mold for the clay that I can bake it in. I want it to be kind of like a, like a cylinder type, but I was having a hard time coming up with a mold. So I just wrapped it around my needle tool, the foil around my needle tool, and I made a vertical mold and then I just kept putting the liquid clay into it, kind of working it down until I thought it was mostly full. I baked it, I let it fully cool. You always let it fully cool before you try and take this stuff out of a mold because it'll just tear up. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'm just cutting off some of the extra that I don't need. And then I want there to be a kind of water effect when it's hitting the piranha plant. So I just made another mold where I could just kind of pull some at the bottom and put the stream into it. And then I baked that. And I'm super happy with how it came out. I'm just cutting off some of the extra because it's a little bit too much, especially to the scale that we're making. And then I super glue the water stream into Flood, put him aside. And I thought it would look cool if I put some of the liquid clay onto the paint. I thought it would give it some extra effect, but in the end, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Except, you know, it was there. Okay, now that is all glued. I'm going to glue Mario into place. Oh, I baked the piranha plant, by the way. You wanna bake things before you put super glue on it. I super glued Mario and the water stream on, and then I am glazing the paint, the piranha plant and all the paint that is around to make it nice and glossy. Okay, so normally I just use the blade and it just pops off. And I guess because this base is made out of cost clay, it's not coming off so easy. And I'm really scared I'm gonna break it. I'm trying to be super gentle. Oh. Oh, He's gonna be killing us. <laughs> oh gosh, this isn't good. Oh, I almost have it. I wanna make sure I definitely not crack. Oh, oh it survived. Now I can glue it onto the base. Okay guys, here is the finished piece. I really wanted to set out to make a uh, palm top with some motion and action into it. And although it is not perfect, I feel like it does create a scene. If anyone knows Mario Sunshine, you definitely know this scene for sure. It was fun learning a technique with the clear uh, liquid Sculpey, that was definitely fun. I'm happy I went with that instead of just translucent clay, which would have normally been my go-to. I'm definitely gonna keep practicing little people because they look kind of like a slouchy little grump. <laughs> I wanna get better at tiny people. So if you have any tiny people palm top ideas, leave them down in the comments below. Go ahead and give this video a big, my hand doesn't fit in this frame, a thumbs up. You know what? I'll just put one right here. Give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to absolutely go check out Andrew's video. I'll put it right here. And here's a couple of extra of my videos if you want to check them out as well. 
And with that said, I don't have anything left to, for today, so I will see y'all in the next one.